Praise the Lord, everyone. Brother Rupert, welcome to our devotional today. If you like these short devotionals and spiritual videos, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. Sister Gretchen's going to read A Cry in Our Crisis. Yes, and it's very good. <laughs> it is good. Psalm 74 3 says, Turn your steps toward these everlasting ruins. All this destruction the enemy has brought on the sanctuary. The enemy. Yes. Charles Spurgeon said, Our extremities are the Lord's opportunities. So that Lord, the Lord lets us, he orchestrates things for us to go to so that he has the opportunity to be glorified. Charles Spurgeon's great. He always hits the nail right on the head. Yes. And when we go through difficulties, it's an honor to be able to go to God with them and have him take care of our extremities in life. And that's the key, right? It is. Let God take care of it. That's right, because we're powerless. We're absolutely powerless. We're humans, weak, powerless humans. Yes. We need Almighty God working for us. Yes, amen. <laughs> the scene is one of devastation. God's temple has been destroyed by the enemies of his people. There seems to be no deliverance, no way around the, catas the catastrophe. It's an utter disaster. Mm, my God. Such was the scene behind Psalm 74. But this psalm wasn't only relevant to those many centuries before Jesus. It is relevant to us. It offers us a picture of a soul desperate for God. No, the ruins are not physical. Right. And the temple is not made of stone. Right. The picture is relevant for us because we now know that the dwelling place of God in the Old Testament pointed to the hearts of his people in the new. Yes. The temple is your body. That's right. We all have one we all have a temple to God. And all of us at some point or another in our lives have probably felt the need to ask of God. Quote Turn your steps toward these everlasting ruins. All this destruction the enemy has brought on the sanctuary, unquote. Mm. We want him to visit the devastation that is us. We need him to step into the ruins of our lives. We're all train wrecks. <laughs> That's Absolutely true. every one of us. We are. <laughs> we are. It's like... Um... I don't know how God puts up with us. I really don't. No. <laughs> so. It is God's mercy that brings us to that point. Though it doesn't feel like mercy at all, it feels cruel. God lets us run the way of our rebellion, and he lets our apathetic mm. hearts lead us to pathetic consequences. He does. He lets, yes, he does. <laughs> you want to have your way? Have it. Have it. Yeah. <laughs> He'll stand by and let you have it. <laughs> Absolutely. Conviction, despair, brokenness, and deep need. But it is all of grace. Yes, amen. We cannot know him unless we cry out for him to visit our devastation. For that, we have to be brought to the point of crying out. Amen. God wants us to be broken in front of him. Yes. To let it all out. Because only then can he start putting the pieces back together. Only then when we'll be receptive of it. That's right. You know. That's right. Yes. And you know what? He may not use all those pieces when he puts us back together. Right. Because some things he may leave out and some things he may add in. And he may change some pieces. That's right. Right. Has your life ever looked like the scene of a disaster? Yes, it has. <laughs> if not for your own, have you ever had to counsel a brother or sisters whose life lay in ruins? We can know that the cry of Psalm 74 is a legitimate cry. It is a necessary point for us to get to. That painful point when the raw nerves of the soul are exposed and God's comfort 
seems far away. Learn to see it as a necessary step of coming closer to him. Do not let it discourage you. Right. God will meet you there. He would yes. not have let you fall if he had no plans to catch you. That's right. <laughs> now, how loving is that? Oh, that's, a, that's wonderful. How, how many of us can say that? You know, we disappoint people. People disappoint us. And, you know, we just go about our merry lives. We do. But God is the only one that will always stand beside us and pick up the pieces and catch us when we fall. Yes. So if you're in a time of trouble and tribulation, cry out to God for it. That's right. God will be with you. Amen. But you have to humble yourself. Yes, you do. Because without humility, God can not work with you. He just can't. Because the stronger that you say you are and you can handle it, the further away God's going to stay. Yes. We got to say we can't handle it. We need you to handle it for us. Because God is a gentleman. Yes. And he will only come to a willing vessel. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Well, we hope y'all have a wonderful day. Uh, today in the United States is uh, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Yes, happy Mother's Day. We hope you all feel the love of God. And we hope you all find a way to lean on him and let him put back the broken pieces of your life. Yes. In your precious name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs>